The following is an exclusive presentation of WI Garden Media, the voice of Garden Talk Radio. Oh, if you want to be part of the program, besides tuning in through one of the 18 AM and FM frequencies broadcasting our program here in 2022, through a radio app, through our parent website under the Season 6 tab at the top of the page, the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com, in-studio video replay, podcast replay, however you're doing it, thank you. If you want to be part of the program, you can send us an email, GardenTalkRadio at gmail.com. That's GardenTalkRadio at gmail.com, or... You can give us a call on the Proclamation Hotline brought to you by Proclamation Goods. That number is toll-free, coast-to-coast at 1-800-927-SHOW, 1-800-927-7469. Proclamation Goods creates cookware for the eco-conscious home chef. Their pans are non-toxic, have a lifetime warranty, and are made in Wisconsin. Their award-winning stainless steel Proclamation Duo cookware set is a 12-inch skillet and a stock pot that doubles as a wok. Best of all, the skill and Scott stop pot hinge together to form a Dutch oven. It's two pans with a versatility of 10, empowering you to cook more with less. If you care about your health and strive for a more sustainable lifestyle, then Proclamation Goods is for you. Supplies limited, so order yours now by going to proclamationgoods.com. All righty. There's a number of things in which hedges can benefit your property if you uh, so choose to incorporate them, uh, being privacy, being um, maybe a boundary, a boundary, a, protect, a border, a pe- protection, protection um, or just an aesthetic. Maybe you want to create, um, you know, something like a little garden labyrinth and you want to make it a, a differentiation border. of yeah. sections, sections. Now, the thing with hedges, they are not all created equal, Holly. They uh, some grow faster than others. Some need a lot more maintenance than others. That's definitely something that you want to keep in mind. Oh, it's on sale. Let's grab twenty of them. <laughs> no, that's and, not- yeah, and you know, some might grow bigger than you realize because you're at the garden center getting that deal, and then all of a sudden you have. Uh, well, I, a wall of a wall. Real quick, what comes to mind is arborvitaes. Yeah. They are all oh, their cute little shrubs, and oh man, they're 40 feet tall. And they are out of control. And if you didn't maintain them or didn't plan for the uh, arborvitae to grow the way it's growing, you are going to have to probably cut it down and reevaluate what you're going to do with that area. Absolutely. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that hedges all can grow at different rates and you can purchase a more mature um more mature hedge which will be a little bit more costly but then it will start to grow or will be growing a little bit more so you don't have to wait as long for it to fill in or you can start small it kind of depends on how what you're going for, what you're looking for, how much patience you have, more or less. Well, you got to do your research. It, that simply, you, you, you can look at a pretty picture in a magazine, uh, in your know, junk seeds catalog or, or online and go, I want that. But if you don't realize it takes five to seven years for it to get to that state, or it takes X amount of hours of trimming and maintenance and mulching and trimming and taking care or it's a very diseased uh disease ridden plant in your area you're going to be in it for a very long disappointed and angry full angry filled uh time frame dealing with this absolutely and yeah and that's something that you want to keep in mind also they do they do root quite quickly Mm -hmm. so that's something to keep in mind too if you make a mistake you're going to have to dig that out could be labor intensive could just be a pain. Well, if you are in a residential city metropolitan um, situation and you're wanting to put these along the sidewalk on your property or on the inward side, based on the root ad- ad- aggressiveness, it can damage the sidewalk. And, and I don't know a whole lot, but I'm going to assume that if the sidewalk is damaged because of something that you've planted, you're probably going to be responsible for a bill that you're not wanting to pay for them to come in and redo that sidewalk in front of your house. Also, it can be a liability issue, uh, snow shoveling or people tripping over the uh, unleveled planks of concrete that those uh, plants have uh, caused to raise up or upheave. Or, yeah. Uh, upheave yeah. yeah. Something to definitely keep in mind. Now, same thing with your neighbor. If you have a neighbor who doesn't like your hedge and they decide to give it a little haircut on accident or something, <laughs> oh, 
hopefully you don't have a neighbor that does that or you have good communication or you offer to to trim it or prune it or whatever but um you know you want to keep in mind that if you live on a a property line with a neighbor or an hoa hoa or whatever that there might be rules you might have to just make sure that you're not i mean it makes sense sometimes to use those arbor vitaes because they don't need very much pruning because they grow up right but if you're looking for a fill-in area when they grow up uh based on how well you the you know you can lose you can get more canopy than you can get uh wall coverage i guess is what you call uh when when can we plant these when should we plant these is there a good and a bad time to plant these well bare root hedges should be planted mid-october so we're getting kind of in that time frame and uh till the end of no and and at the end of and at the end of march so you're kind of looking for like solid fall and then or Or kind of in the dormancy area yeah but you don't want to you know here's the thing if uh you're in an area let's say you're in denver uh listening to us on kh nc 1360 and you're going hey i want to plant some hedges before the winter and winter is supposed to be here uh, uh, you know three days from now and it's supposed to be frozen ground probably not a good time to put these things in the ground they you need to get them established you just can't go oh it's going to freeze and it's going to be 12 degrees tomorrow let's plant them now so they're in the ground that's not going to do you a whole lot of good at all uh for the health of your plants and also you you'll see these hedges that have that nice square um corner very artistic very looking artistic. Yeah. and yes you can absolutely do that but you do have to train your hedge mm-hmm. to do that it doesn't come naturally it requires but you can leave the hedge at home alone nobody has to take care of it <laughs> when you go out <laughs> yes yeah. you can. You it's yeah. frowned upon to do that to children and some pets it's not really well uh, encouraged right yeah especially pets that it was a bad the, joke continue especially pets that use the the bathroom outside yeah yeah so um mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> from from you, from you the want to, yeah, you want to prune your hedges, um, but let's get back the, the so there's because there's different types of hedges. There's the evergreen type hedges, uh-huh. and those are best planted um, from September to mid October, or from April to mid May. So either way, you're looking at fall slash spring planting, and you're going to prune these every month if you're wanting to get a certain shape. However, you don't want to prune these back so hard that you cut away all the foliage or all the the needles or anything like that because there's a certain area from trunk up the stem or the stalk or the limb where there's not going to be much of any growth that's just part of the arm i guess until it gets to the area where it flush uh, flourishes out so if you cut that back it's going to be a long time before that little hole fills in that you accidentally cut too deep on so you're probably thinking okay you know maybe You want to do the hedges, you want to get some hedges, you want to plant some hedges, whatever. And you want to think, okay, if I have um, six feet or whatever that I want to to cover here, how many hedges, how many plants do I need? It's about one per square foot. Well, well, that's true, but also it depends on what they are going to look like at maturity. You want them to slightly grow into one another to create this living wall. That's, but that's why you want right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if it is a if it is a bushier plant, correct. Yeah. And you also don't want to do this. This is this is one of the few things in gardening that you don't want to do. We'll do a little bit now. We'll do some next year because if you do that, you're going to have this hedge that is four or five different shapes of height. They're all going to be all different alterations. It's not going to be universal. So it's one of these things that let's you got to invest the money in it so you can get all 20 plants and put them all in at once. So they're all uniform. So they all look nice. And that's the other thing is that that's why you want to care for your hedges. You want to, some of them you might have to wrap when they're, they're smaller right. in the winter months. And then you want to mulch around the hedges. That's very important, mm-hmm. keeping their their roots nice and... Um, water them with a tree yeah, diaper, yeah. keep a tree diaper around them. The other problem, and, and I've seen this happen, and there's not really much anyone can do. You've got a beautiful hedge. You've got seven, eight, ten p- uh, plants, whatever one you got. And there's one in the center that dies. And you remove it, and you replace it with the same variety it's never ever going to look the same there's nothing you can do about it you're always going to have oh it's pretty dip where that short one is and it's never going to catch up to the rest of them that i think maybe that's why people end up putting like trees in the places yeah there's a random tree in the middle of the hedge there grass something like that yeah 
Maybe, uh, perhaps that's why. I don't know. So with that being said, you know, maybe you didn't think hedges was that uh, big of a deal, but maybe you think it is now if you're trying to keep wandering eyes from looking on your property or you're trying to hide things. What's, what, what is the saying? Uh, if it's not seen, out of sight, out of mind, might be uh, the yeah. advantage of using hedges. Right. And it looks more natural than having a barn or a shed all of a sudden up here in the, <laughs> on your property or anywhere because people are going to go, something's there. If you've got some hedges and natural looking stuff, you can hide some things a lot easier, a lot less prying eyes. And a lot of times less less work or money than building a six foot tall fence. oh and it less insurance yeah that's true. because every time you put something on the property they're they're asking for dollar bills and you know oh, that's more insurance so what doesn't take a lot of insurance is walton's incorporated walton's inc because they have everything but the meat holly absolutely so you know you care about where your food comes from you might be canning preserving um i just watched somebody do freeze freeze dried soup so there's that um, your fruits and vegetables, but what about the meat? At Walton's, you can get all the equipment, seasoning, and supplies to make sausage, jerky, and any other meat product your way to your high standards. You want to make snack sticks that people will like. Walton's has meatdistics.com. They have educate people there to help educate on how the hows and whys of meat processing, as well as a community of almost 15,000 users who will give their opinion and guidance on meat processing issues. Um, they have everything from meat grinders, mixers, sausage stuffers. They have decades of experience. They have a full line of seasonings, all this stuff. So if you want to go there, you can use code GROW50 to save 10% off of orders of $50 or more. Walton's Everything But The Meat. That's waltonsinc.com or Meat Just. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.